I'm gonna go pause my music. Hi, okay, so I'm not gonna waste any time. Hopefully some people will hop on here um, as time goes on, but I am going to share my screen with you and we are going to get started. Okay, so once you log into BeachbodyOnDemand.com, this is on my computer, so it does look a little bit different on the app. Uh, but we're going to utilize the, um, the browser here. So BeachbodyOnDemand.com at the top, you'll see right here, programs, workouts, nutrition, bod groups, blog, and tracking. So once it prompts you to log in, this is the screen that you will see. When you purchase Beachbody On Demand, if you signed up, with a challenge pack this year, you have access to both of our meal plans and all of the workouts depending on the pack that you bought. So Control Freak won't be out on BOD until later this year. Let's Get Up won't be on BOD until um, the fall unless you purchase those programs specifically. So as you scroll down here, you will see all the different programs, okay? There are thousands of workouts. You will never be bored. So this will break it down to most popular. Within each program, it'll say how long it lasts, how long each program or each workout is. Um, if you know the level of fitness that you require uh, within that program. And then here's your nutrition center. And then each program is also broken down alphabetically. The type of uh, workout, so weight loss, strength and muscle, lean and sculpted, cardio, low impact. So up here at the beginning, you will notice there is a filter. So if you have specific something that you want to work towards, so if you only have 30 minutes and you want to do a strength training program, you can say, okay, I want to do a boot camp and I want to do cardio. Um, this will give you all the different options for that. So you can do a um, program like zero to 30 days, and then that will specifically break those down. Okay. So you can't mess this up. Just mess around with it a little bit um, up here. So these are, I think these are the workouts that I've done specifically. It will keep track of all of your uh, workouts that you have done. So let's see, that's MBF. All right, so up here at nutrition, this you guys is where you need to be spending the majority of your time as you're getting used to um, these workouts. So right here, it gives you a, um, a little bit of a, tells you the difference between the two programs. So 2B Mindset is more of a plating method where you take your plate and half of it, depending on the meal is, you know, veggies or fiber filled carbohydrates or proteins. And so Alana will walk you through specifically how to set up your plate for each meal. When you sign up, you get a log book um, to keep track of your uh, food. So this is what the tracker looks like for 2B Mindset. Everybody gets one of these. And then each day um, it will tell you. So your breakfast, you're going to have 50% protein, 50% fiber-filled carbohydrates, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's going to talk to you about your rest. It's going to ask you if you pooped that day, how much water you're drinking, if you took time to work out, things like that. And then ultimate portion fix is where you're going to use these handy dandy little color coded containers. So we are going to break these down a little bit more specifically. Okay, so the monthly fix is automatically, you sign up for that automatically when you do a challenge pack. If that is not something that you want to pay for, you need to manually log in to teambeachbody.com you need to go to your account orders and then there you will see where it says nutrition plus and you click on that and then you can cancel that. It's gonna charge you $20 a month if you do not cancel that. If you decide that you want to do that, 
by all means, if you are someone who really struggles with emotional eating or needing more specific help, that is a huge value where Autumn comes in every single month and offers you new recipes, um, new ways to overcome the food addiction, things like that. You do not need to purchase that. The only thing that you should not cancel is the coach discount if you are drinking Shakeology or drinking the performance line or anything like that, because that's going to save you, even with the $15 coach fee, that's going to save you $20 a month on your shakes or whatever it is that you order. So don't cancel that. Okay. So within each meal plan is a series of videos. Launch here real quick. Maybe. Okay, so start here. Learn the program. Who was Alana? Alana went to fat camp when she was younger. That's where her parents would send her. So she gained 100 pounds. Um, she is a registered dietitian. She's a nutritionist. She has all the degrees. She's an absolutely amazing human being. She is sweet. She knows her stuff. So she's going to break this down very specifically as to what is a protein, what is a carbohydrate, your accessories, your com uh, condiments, how to plate it for your lunch, your snack, your dinner, how to make over your mindset, okay? Start losing weight now. She's going to talk to you about the two bunnies. Now, within each nutrition plan, all right, there is these little, see these little drop downs right here? Learn the program meal prepping, eating for life, overcoming obstacles. Okay. Here is a recipe section, breakfast and Shakeology, lunch, dinner, veggie sides. Okay. And then here under resources, I want you to take some time to look through the resources. All right. So within here, you're going to have a getting started guide. These are all printable materials. And when you purchase to be mindset as a program itself, you get an entire book. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I gave my book to my boyfriend's sister-in-law so she could look through it. I forgot. So here we have the tracker, which when you sign up for a challenge pack, you're going to get the tracker. But here you also have it online. Everything that you get is printable for you online. Or if you can, um, let's see here. So here you can access everything that you need that is also in the tracker. If you wanna go in and print some pages, you can absolutely do that, okay? So everything that you need here is also here, all right? So food lists for US and Canada, all right? There's vegan food lists. Meal planning tools, plate it. These are all of the pages within the um, book that you would get, but you don't need to purchase that. You can print everything that you want online. And if you get into the guide section in the Facebook page, there are to be mindset guides that have a lot of the setting short-term goals, setting long-term goals, ultimate portion fix, same things like that. So mix and match restaurant guide eating out, how to enjoy all the foods that you love while, while still losing weight and sticking to that plate it method, how to create your grocery list, your uh, meal plan, your book recipes, holiday recipes, um, question and answers, tons of different value, okay? So make sure that you are going through all of these different um, resources. All right, so let's hop back up here to nutrition and look at ultimate portion fix. Tiffany, are you in here? I saw you were trying to join. Okay, so ultimate portion fix. 
I've done both of these programs. I absolutely love both of these programs. I use a lot of the concepts from Chibi Mindset, but Ultimate Portion Fix, which is the container program, is the one that I live my life by. Um, when I am at home, I need that structure. Um, when I'm out to eat, I can really look at my plate um, and say, okay, this salad that I'm getting at a restaurant is really two servings of proteins, probably three servings of vegetables. I don't need to eat all of that because your body can only utilize a certain amount of, re of nutrients at a time. Anything that you overeat, your body can't use, turns to sugar, which turns to fat, which is why this is a very structured meal plan. They both are very structured meal plans. So again, same thing. Start here. This explains to you who Autumn is. Autumn did not gain 100 pounds. She's always been in a dancer. She was a uh, professional like in doing body competitions. Um, she's also a um, dietitian and nutritionist. So this is how you go through the booklet of um, Ultimate Portion Fix. This also has a log book that you can print out if you want to um, log your food. You guys, within Beachbody On Demand, if you open up your app, So what are your ultimate, what's your ultimate goal? What's your why? You guys, you've got to start with a why. And it's fine to say, I want to be, you know, strong for my kids. But why do you want to be strong for your kids? Do you want to be a good example to them? You know, are you having kids later in life and you want to be able to keep up with them? I mean, I'm going to be 40 pretty soon. And my niece and nephew are almost three and seven months old. So I want to be able to bounce my niece on my knee. I mean, that girl on Sunday at dinner, I was the only adult up playing with her, running around, chasing the ball. I was the only adult whose lap she wanted to sit on so she could bounce on my legs and I would lift her up and we would do fun things because most people don't have the energy to do that. I want to be that aunt that she comes to to play with, but also with anything else that she needs in her life. And so I want to be strong for her. So in the Beachbody On Demand app, if you look here, down here on the bottom, you're going to find your programs, um, your bod groups, and then the tracking section over here. So if you go to the tracking section, there is a spot in there where you can put in which meal plan you're in if you're following the containers. So see that right there? It already says how many containers I need every day. And since I logged my breakfast and I logged my after workout, um, fruit, I already went in there and put in the food that I have eaten. So that's an easy way to keep track of your containers. Um, I also printed out um, the little checklist and Mary, God love her, laminated it for me. And I have these fun little um, erasable markers that I keep out by my fridge. And every time I make a meal, when I'm home, I can go through and write down how many containers I've had. So what roadblocks or obstacles have you encountered in the past trying to achieve your goals? You've got to recognize those things. What do you need to let go of? I mean, this is really walking you through emotionally and mentally how to, in the beginning, before we even talk about how much food you should be eating, taking action to break the chains that hold you back. We always want to take measurements, okay? Measurements and pictures are the best true a uh, measure of your results. Yes, you can get on the scale, but a female fluctuates five to seven pounds every day. And if you didn't drink enough water and if you didn't eat enough of your food, you will wake up in the morning bloated. I can promise you that. So take your measurements every single week. I'm going to tell you that when you first start doing these workouts and eating the food, I put this in the email that I send everyone, but you could experience weight gain. You could experience bloating. What is happening is when you're exercising, your body is building lactic acid around your muscles. So there's extra water weight. If you're not drinking enough water to flush out that lactic acid that's building around your muscles, you're going to hold on to that fluid. And also, if you're not eating the fruits and vegetables that you need in order to naturally put that fiber into your body, you're going to hold on to a lot of the things that your body's been holding on to. And You've got to follow that meal plan. So take your pictures, take your measurements. And yes, if you want to weigh in, do it each week, but pick one day a week. Don't do it every day. I know in um, 
to be mindset, it says to weigh in every day. And I really want you to not do that because the scale does not define you. Um, fit is not a number. It is not a size. It is a state of mind. And you have to get to the point where you love yourself at every weight at every stage in your fitness journey or nothing you ever do is going to be enough. And when I say that, yes, we always want to be stepping up in our goals. We always want to be pushing out of our comfort zone to become a better person, but that is not defined by a number on the scale or the pant size that we wear. So make sure that you are finding a way to track that is going to eat that is going to work well for you. So some need pen and paper, some like the digital, but you've got to keep track. So if you'll see up here, it says vegetables is the green container. So for example, I eat in plan B. So I know every day I have to eat four of these, okay? I have to eat three of these. I have to eat four of these, three of these, one of these. I have another orange container somewhere and then teaspoons, okay? So this is gonna break down what goes in each color-coded container. So look at that carbohydrate list. You got all kinds of carbohydrates that you can eat. Eat the carbs. Change nothing and nothing changes. Isn't that the truth? So take some time to look through all of this. This is, um, you can print out any of these things that you want to. You can screenshot these things or just get a journal and write down the things that you're going through um, as you move through the program. So just make sure that whatever program you're following, you are making time every day to log those workouts, all right? Of course it popped me right out of there. Oh, come on. Of course, my internet's slow. My internet is never slow, but since I want to talk to you guys, it's slow. Imagine that. Plus, I have a ton of browsers open. It's probably not helping. Okay, so also under program materials, let's go to your lessons. And you have access, like I said, to both of these meal plans, you guys. So take time and look through both of them. Um, even if you want to follow the plated method, you can still find serious value in the um, container videos. So video number four talks about food addiction. Video number three talks about what is a balanced macronutrient. So when you're following these containers, you're following basically a 40-30-30 macro count. So 40% is carbohydrates, 30% is lean protein, and 30% is healthy fats. And as you go through Ultimate Portion Fix, you're going to learn that it's the combination of all of these containers that equal that 40-30-30 ratio. So how does that happen? That happens because a lot of your um, vegetables have protein. A lot of your vegetables have carbohydrates. A lot of your carbohydrates have protein. A lot of your fruits have carbohydrates. So it is a balanced mixture, which is amazing to me that Autumn has gone through and figured this out for us. So we don't have to do it. All we have to do is figure out our formula, figure out which container bracket we fall in, and then fill up these delicious little things and eat all day long. This is something else I am going to tell you. As you get into these programs, what you're going to understand is that this is a lot of freaking food, okay? The biggest struggle, the biggest mental barrier that so many of you have had is how in the hell am I supposed to eat all this food and lose weight if that is your goal or lean up or tone or whatever? This is the thing. Less is not more when it comes to weight loss. I personally experienced this as a 246 pound female following my fitness pal eating 1200 calories a day. My body was constantly in starvation mode because I was not getting enough calories. The average person at rest burns 1200 calories a day. So if you're eating 900 to 1000 calories, especially the more weight you have to lose, your body is literally in starvation mode, which means it's reproducing your fat cells. The more you starve yourself, the more fat your body is growing because it's trying to make up for what you're depriving it from. It thinks that you are hungry and that you need nutrients. 
So it's in there in a hurry to give you something to sustain you as you go throughout the day. Do you want to grow more fat cells on purpose? Because when you starve yourself, that's literally what you're doing, okay? It takes time to, to adjust to this. Just like I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, it takes your body a good 30 days to adjust. You are going to go through a natural detox process as you start to follow these meal plans. What I need you to understand is that if you are someone who is in a higher calorie bracket, so let's say maybe you fall in container D, and let me show you what that looks like. So under program materials, again, go through and print out anything that you need here, okay? You have access to all of this. Don't tell me that you don't know how to lose weight because I'm literally giving you everything that you need. You need to take ownership of your results and do the things that you say you want to do. I can give you all the information. I can share with you all the nuggets, but ultimately you have to grocery shop, you have to prep your food, and you have to practice personal development every day and overcome the things that are holding you back from truly living the life you want to in the body that you want to. Only you can decide. No one can take that from you. No one can choose that for you unless you give them the power to do so. If you've given someone that power, you need to take it back. Because you are here to live and serve one, 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 capital O and E, one. That is who you are here to serve. Yes, you want to be a good parent. Yes, you want to help your kids. Yes, you want to be the best mom or wife or coworker you can be. But what is going on with my internet? But you can't do any. <sighs> This is really starting to piss me off of those things if you do not take back control of your life. Okay. So, Lord, please let my internet work so I can share these things with these women that I need to share with them. Thank you very much. Okay, so program materials, whether you're in your nutrition plan or you're in your workout, that is where all the good stuff happens. So here's your workbook. Here's your logbook. Uh, we have everything in Spanish as well as English and French. So you have everything that you need. All right, so let's see if we can do this again. In the workbook, there is a section called Pick Your Path. Oh my gosh, why is this being? Okay. So this is the workbook that you get when you purchase the program. Um, but like I said, you can go in here and work through all these things. So video number two has a section in um, the book that will go along with it. So if you want to get yourself a little journal, um, I highly recommend that you get a journal and you can take notes alongside if you don't want to purchase the program. So why portion control? Okay. What is balanced macronutrient mean? Here we go. 40% carbs, 30% protein, 30% healthy fat. What does that look like? Food addiction. Find your why. It's not enough to just do it for your family. If you don't figure out the thing that you need um, to go back to the days you want to quit or binge eat a row of Oreos or whatever that thing is, you've got to nail down your why. So one of the things for me is that I see my mom, my grandma, like literally every person in my family is on some sort of medication for diabetes or heart disease or thyroid or so many things that can be fixed by food. Um, not saying that every single thing can, sometimes life just happens and you have to have medication, but a lot of the things that we do to ourselves that requires medication can be fixed with our nutrition. Okay. Um, I don't want to have to take medicine like that. Um, figure out your why. Do you want more energy? Do you want to live a long, healthy life? Do you see people or older people that, you know, walking around like this, find your why, write it down. And in those moments, um, that you don't want to push play or that someone tempts you with the cookie and it's not cookie eating day, then 
you come back to your why. So write it down, all right? So here are ways to up your ante each week, okay? Then we write down our long-term goals, write down your short-term goals. Um, it's great to have a long-term goal, you guys, but start with short-term goals and it doesn't have to be weight loss. It can be, but maybe sleep seven to eight hours a night or drink half your weight in ounces, ounces every day. Um, so I wanna talk to you about something else. Uh, this is your three different paths to following the container plan. So you have your foundational fix, you have your time nutrition, and you have your carb cycling. Foundational fix is your basic meal plan. Time nutrition is a more structured uh, plan. And then carb cycling is a more of a diet. This is what I did last month. I lost 11 pounds and 12 inches in three weeks. You can do this. It is um, very emotionally um, a blessing as it is a physical blessing, um, but you can only do this every three, like I can't do this again for another three months. This is not a lifestyle. This is just a way to kind of snap your body back um, if you've gotten into some bad habits. So what is foundational fix? It's gonna walk you through all these videos. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this because you guys need to make time to go um, figure out what these things are. But I do wanna walk you through Time to nutrition. Okay, so I, like I said, fall in plan B, okay? I'm not saying you have to follow time to nutrition, but the more food you have to eat, sometimes the harder it is to get all that in through the day. So I highly recommend that you follow the groupings within timed nutrition. This is basically the way that I eat every single day. So in the morning, I have a green, a red, and a yellow, okay? So what does that mean? I have a green container of vegetables, a yellow serving of sweet potatoes, and protein. So usually that looks like spinach, either a piece of toast or sweet potatoes, and two scrambled eggs, okay? Um, and then afterwards, because I ordered the Let's Get Up performance pack, I got the pre-workout and the post-workout. So after my workout, I'm drinking the Beachbody Recover and I'm eating a piece of fruit. Um, one of my favorite reasons to drink Recover is I don't have to count that in my meal plan. It doesn't count as a red. It's just, I get to drink that because it's good for my muscles and it's a chocolate shake after my workout and it's freaking delicious. And so why would I not want to give my body that extra 10 to 20 milligrams or grams of protein, um, to aid in that muscle recovery. And then within, you know, an hour or two after your workout, you're going to eat a post workout meal, which is your green, red, and yellow. So if you want to follow time nutrition, you will see absolutely incredible results. Um, I did this when I did the 80 day obsession workout. I never cheated. I had my best transformation ever. It was absolutely insane. Um, so if you want to really step it up, it's kind of one level above um, carb cycling because this is a way that you can actually live your life. Um, and then your other timed meals are um, just here as follows. So you get a purple, a red, and a teaspoon. And then your meal option one, two and three can be switched around. So the pre-workout and the post-workout meal cannot be switched around, but these three meals can. So how to um, adjust those accordingly if you're going to work out, if you're not going to work out, etc. cetera. Um, and then your rest day meal plan. Um, and then it walks you through the carb cycling. Okay, so let's see here. Let me already go through the... Find your calorie market. Okay, so this, you guys, is the meat and potatoes of the call. And I know that I wanted to be done by now, but my computer lagged a little bit. And so I'm just gonna take a few minutes to go over this. So calorie calculator, if you're not working out, follow this. It's gonna put you, give you a number, okay? If you are working out, which unless you have a medical reason, you best be push and play, okay? So if your workouts are moderately challenging, which is what we would, the majority of us would be following, okay? So you take your current weight times 11, and then you add 400, okay? So this is to make up for the workouts that you're doing. And then if you are not trying to lose weight, you just want to lean up and tone or maybe drop a few pounds, stop right there. That's your number. If you have more than 10 pounds you want to lose, subtract 750. That's your number. 
okay? And then it's going to put you in a container bracket. So if you notice, A, B, C, it gives you a range. So if your number is 1600, let's say, then you're gonna follow container plan B. So every day, like me, four of these, three of these, four of these, three of these, one of these, an orange one, and four teaspoons, okay? And then again, down here, if you have a higher plan, okay, so let's say you fall in the 2300 to 2500 calorie range. This is a lot of freaking food, y'all. But if you fall in this container bracket, you don't get to bump to plan D or plan B. You don't get to pick. This is how it works. The more weight you have to lose, the more food you have to eat, okay? So as you are getting started in your meal plan, if you fall in portion plan E, you need to do your best to eat seven containers every day, five purples, six reds, five yellows, okay? And then a blue and orange and seven teaspoons. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you. For those of you who struggle to eat all of your food, the best tip I can give you is to take a purple and take a green, put it in a blender with your Shakeology, add your scoop of Shakeology. If you wanna put in a serving of sweet potatoes or rolled oats, a great way to get in your healthy carbohydrates, you can't taste it, blend it up and drink it, okay? That is the best thing for you to do. And then find the timed nutrition breakdown for portion plan E so that you can see what those groupings are, okay? Does that make sense? So the more weight you have to lose, the more food you have to eat. It may take you a month to adjust to eating all of that food, but within 30 days, you need to be eating as much from those containers as possible. Now, do not make yourself sick if it gets to that point, but don't not eat it because you think, holy crap, that's a ton of food. Yeah, it is, but your body requires that if you want to lose weight. So whatever anyone has ever told you about starving yourself and exercising, you need to get it out of your head right now. And remember that it is a sincere blessing to be able to eat between 2,300 and 2,500 calories and lose weight. Like how freaking cool is that? I think that is absolutely amazing. My sister-in-law just had a baby and when she, well, it's my boyfriend's sister-in-law, um, started doing the bar postnatal workout. She was eating in plan E and in the first three weeks, she lost 12 pounds and 11 inches. It works if you trust the process. Drink half your weight in ounces of water, make sure that you're getting seven to eight hours of rest and make sure you are following this program as it is laid out. There are vegan and vegetarian options in here. Just take some time to really work through these nutrition plans, deep dive in, <coughs> excuse me, deep dive into the food list. Um, this will give you uh, different ideas on, um, you know, foods that may fall into multiple containers, depending on how they're prepared, pumpkin, pasta sauce, and salsa. Um, there are tons of recipes within um, the ultimate portion fix, as well as to be mindset. And let's just Note here that the food lists are in order of hierarchy. So the higher they are on the list, the better they are for you, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't eat throughout all the list. If you continue to eat the same foods over and over again, which I am very guilty of this, your body's gonna get stagnant. It needs that switch up. So don't be afraid to try different things from the food list, okay? Your body needs that. And let's just talk about all these amazing carbohydrates that we can eat. So whole grain tortillas, um, you can do two corn, two small six inch corn tortillas. You can do rice cakes. You can do whole grain bagels. You can do whole grain English muffins. Um, I make the pancakes from our fixate recipe. They're shared in the fixate recipes guide in the Facebook page. Um, you can do crackers. You can do pasta. You can do potatoes. You can do oatmeal. You can do all sorts of things as far as carbohydrates go. So all those people out there doing keto and like losing their minds over carbohydrates, you get to eat carbohydrates every flipping day. So 
Um, Tara Marks, I always love, she's always like, keep your yellow containers, but give me all the blue. So your blue containers are your healthy fats. Your orange containers are your healthy fats, just in a different way. And then your teaspoons are also your healthy fats, your nut butters, things like that. So everything is here, you guys. You have so much information when it comes to uh, your meal plan. Don't waste this value. And the last thing I'm gonna share with you before I hop off of here, is the bod groups, the blog, and the tracking. So make sure you're clicking through these things. Within the blog, there are tons of results, people who follow the programs. There's entire sections in here of the science of Beachbody. Please take time. Don't just trust my word for it. Do the research. Why does Beachbody work? Why do, why do the meal plans work? Why does exercising 30 minutes in your home doing dance and having a freaking blast, why does it work? Do the research look at the results, okay? There is so much goodness and value here. Don't miss out on every opportunity that you can to use the things that you're paying for within this platform. So take some time to look through all the videos. You can listen to them on the way to work. You can share the things that you're learning, share your OHA moments, um, you know, figure out those things that are, have been holding you back from really, you know, being healthy and living the things that you didn't know that, you know, maybe you were doing backwards or, you know, if you're eating a bunch of food and you're like, I'm absolutely loving this, um, you know, just, share the things that you're learning within your group. So under your tracking, it will keep track of everything that you are doing. Um, so make sure that you are utilizing all of these. So here you can see in the tracking section, I've got my remaining portions. Um, I can post my weight, measurements, progress photos, all those things here. You can log all those things in the bod groups, you guys. I do not look at your before and after pictures. That is strictly for you. If you want to share them with me, if you want to share them in the group, I think that is absolutely amazing. One, it holds us more accountable to each other, but that is specifically a section for you to just go in and be yourself and be vulnerable and real. And I think that it is very courageous for each of you to even be here. So um, don't feel like you need to share any of those things um, unless you absolutely want to, um, but be sure that you are making time to go through Beachbody On Demand and checking out all of the goodness that is there. This is not a diet. This is a lifestyle change, and so when we do do things like that, it takes 21 days to make or break a habit, so I really want you to commit the first 30 days of your meal plan your workout. I want you to commit to showing up every day and doing the hard things and putting in the work and drinking your shake. That shakeology, I'm telling you what, is going to make all the difference in your results. I don't care what anyone says. It is the best crap that has ever existed. And it just, it'll change your life. And yes, you can afford it. We can all afford to live better. And, you know, we can either invest in ourselves now or waste time at the doctor's office later. And I know I'd rather spend 120 bucks a month on a shake, five bucks a day, less than five bucks a day. That is going to give me all the things that I need, especially in a season of COVID. Um, I just, I have never felt better in my life. I'm about to be 39 in a couple of weeks. And, um, you know, it's just, it's amazing what happens when you, you consistently show up and never give up. I have not been perfect in my journey. I have been so far from the opposite of perfect, but I show up every damn day and I restart. Yesterday is in the past to Tomorrow doesn't matter. I get the 24 hours that I have right now today to do the things that I can do. I can control what goes in my head. I can control what comes out of my mouth. I can control the fork that goes in my mouth, what is on that fork. I can control the people that I give my time to. I can control the hours in the day um, that I have. I can control the gratitude that I share. I can control um, the feelings that aren't serving me. I can control the feelings that are serving me and I can choose to share that. So don't let anyone steal your power. If someone has taken that power from you, get it back. This is your journey. You are doing this for yourself and the people that you love. And sometimes I have found that the people that we love the most and that love us the most don't always support or understand our journey. That's okay. It's not for them. It's for us. You go on doing you. I don't care if you have to cook two different dinners. Yes, it's a pain in the ass, but you are going to thank yourself later. Yes, do it make yourself a freaking priority. You do everything for everyone. You do everything for everyone. You deserve to eat what you want to eat. You deserve to feel the way you want to feel. You deserve to be loved the way you want to be loved. You deserve all of the things that the good Lord put you on this earth to deserve. So don't let anyone sell you short, especially yourself, especially yourself. 
face that 2% of the shit that you don't say, get it out of your brain so the devil can break his chains on you. Talk to someone who can share God's truth with you and let's make the Mental Health Awareness Month of May, the month that we let go of the crap we've been holding on to that we haven't forgiven ourselves for and move on to the things that we know are going to allow us to serve other people in the way we're supposed to serve other people. So now that I've been on my soapbox, I'm going to stop my share. I am going to say thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. Um, this video will be posted in the Fit and Funky group here in a little bit. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Post any questions um, in the comments below and just have a super duper day. I love you and God bless.